Insanity comes to Thompson Speedway in Thompson, Connecticut. Capulet Fest, July 1 and 2. Two days of rock and fireworks. Over 30 bands on two stages. Capulet Fest, the ultimate dream come true for every diehard rock fan. And Berlin, all that remains. Norma G, Texas Mayfire, Catch Your Breath, A Skylight Drive, and many more. Capulet Fest, July 1 and 2. Buy tickets now. CapuletFest.com. Witness history in the making. Defy the stars. Wait, 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 wait. You know, I wanted to change my shirt for this. Yeah. And and uh, I'm going to try and do it during the intro. Okay. Okay. So welcome to Making This My Podcast. All right. Discussion He's going to change drinks. his shirt during the intro. We're going to... So that means I can I can pull it back from the intro, right? No. Please don't. No, Make I mean like back. when the intro's done, we can pull it right back. Right? Well, we, no, it see is. See where you're at. No, it, it does it already. So it does gonna, it automatically. We're going to see if he can do it. Yeah. See if he can change this his This is shirt. where I wish I wish we had an ad as well, but we don't. Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Here comes the intro. Mike's going to change his clothes. Ready? Go. Make it! Make it is my podcast! Make it! Make it! Make it is my podcast! How those balls looking? You know what you know what season is, right? <laughs> I do, I do indeed. It is uh, it is time. It is time for smooth sack summer. And how do I keep everything smooth, everything tidy, everything the way it should be? Well, I don't know how you do, but I'll tell you how I do. Manscape, buddy. You know how much we love the crop mops. You know how much we love the lawnmower, but they have the performance package 4.0 now. They did a little upgrade mm -hmm. to the Weed Whacker. Weed Whacker is, of course, the nose and hair, ear hair trimmer. It is now the 2.0. And also, they are getting into the beard game. They've got their brand new beard trimmer, which is fantastic. So go to manscaped.com. Yeah. Use the promo code BACONPOD, and that will give you 20% off and free shipping. That's right. So don't forget to work on those testicles, your chesticles, and your cheeks. Keep them clean and ask yourself, what's your bacon? Like it's a different day. Room to spare. Look at you. You had time. So much time on your hands. Yeah, I did. That's a nice shirt, by the way. Thanks. Uh, the reason why I put this on is because uh, we've been pushing this, this fine t-shirt here. It is, the, it is Pride Month. Right? Yep. So we've got the Love is Bacon. Bacon is my podcast t-shirt. Where it, uh, a portion of the proceeds goes to Outright International. Yeah. If you don't know what Outright International it is, it is a... Uh, well, it's harder to say than it is yeah, to explain. Wow, you're like, outright International. Little, little bit, outright International. Outright International. Uh, they are there to uh, support anyone that has... Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna before I say it wrong. Yeah. I'm gonna say it right. Yeah, you should probably say it. I'm right. gonna say it right. Look at this guy. He's he's getting there. He's well, getting there, I was I was totally gonna just go just off wing the it. cuff and wing it, but then I was like, I'm gonna get something wrong for sure, and I don't want to do that because yeah. uh, because it's a foundation and we're right. sending money to it. So, uh, leading international human rights organization dedicated to improving the lives of LGBTQ people who experience discrimination or abuse on the basis of their sexual orientation, gender identity, or expression. Yes. That was easier to read than it was to say. Why is the internet so loud? Is the internet so loud? Is it because we oh, have this on? It's because he's got, we got the AC on. It was, it's very warm. It's because it's hot in here. Yeah. That's why. But thank you. But thank you. Um, for those of you listening. Oh, why is the intro, not the internet. Oh. The intro. Yeah. Well, the yeah, the, the intro is really, really loud. Incredibly loud. All right. Uh, you know what? This mic, I think it, I feel like it's, is this better? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Something happened with the. Our the mic was low. Mic That's well. why the intro seemed so loud. Yes. Right? Yeah. But because this should we be were better. talking and everybody turned it up. Yeah. And then we destroyed them with the intro. Yeah. You're welcome. Cool. cool. <laughs> well, that's 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 what happens when you do things live, bud. That is what happens when you do things live. Got to got to work things out. So, but Hashtag thankfully, professional. Thankfully, we have our uh, our Bim Squad over at patreoncom bacon is my pod here to help us 
with those kinds of things so that uh, so that y'all that are listening on the normal days, uh, you don't have to deal with it that long. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So thank you. Thank you to you guys. And yeah. uh, if you would like to be part of that yeah. illustrious group of uh, BIMP Squad members, yeah. head over to patreon.com slash bacon is my pod. And, bacon uh, is my podcast. I do it wrong every week. Every Every time. Every time. That's why we don't have any. Yeah, that's why. That's well, we do. Right. We do have them. We we, we have, do have them. We, we have, have Donna plenty. right now. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. Uh, Thank you for joining us. us out. Thank you for joining us. So yeah, it's, it's this another marathon day. Yeah, we had another marathon day. This is the third episode we're doing today. Yes, we had two guests that'll be happening in the next few weeks. Uh, we're we're kind of getting ahead because we do have Capulet Fest coming. Right, uh, the first week of July, which is going to be weekend awesome. in July, which is going to be awesome. You guys are going to have so much content from it's, that; it's going to be crazy. Yeah, a lot for you Patreon people as well. We're gonna, there's going to be a lot of extra stuff. Yeah, yeah, and and honestly, depending on the internet, we might be able to do stuff live. We're gonna try. We're gonna definitely try we're to gonna, do we're stuff gonna try live. and be live for yeah, you. Yeah, which would be really fucking cool. Mm-hmm. But whatever. Uh, we're here. We're here now. We are. We're, we're going to do discussions, discussion and drinks. And our drink today is going to be Bushmills Red Bush. Yeah. Right? So what is the difference between that and like uh, a black or a uh, white regular Bushmills? Uh, I believe, um, because I wasn't ready for you to ask me that, uh, I believe it's just the aging process and how long it has aged. But I'll look it up right now. Let's, okay. let's, let's find out. Let's find out together, folks. Yeah. We're hashtag professional today. Um, well, yeah, I'm surprised we, this doesn't say it like on the bottle though. It might. I just can't read it because we're in the dark and it's small. Yeah, it is very small. But usually, like you, you tout why it's different, you know, and and it just doesn't. So the red is aged bourbon for bass. three years uh, in yes. bourbon barrels, while the black is a blend of whiskeys aged from seven to eleven years in sherry and bourbon. Mm, okay. So that tells me that the uh, the black is probably a little sweeter mm-hmm. and a little bit smoother than this one's going to be. Probably. Um, this was probably going to be a little bit more oaky. Yeah, right, right, because of the, right. uh, the bourbon. I'm going to guess, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. Sweet. This was part of a, uh, a Three Bushmills taster. Which I think we we did on a some sort, sort and we of did show. we yeah we did the other two on something. It might have been um, it might have been a tasting as my passion on the uh, Patreon. Yeah, or it may have been. Uh, or we may have just drank them. I'm not sure. It's possible. Yeah, th- I'm I'm excited for this. I'm not I'm not a huge Bushmills guy. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the black. I'm yeah, definitely you, you, a fan you're, of the black. You're a proponent of the, the black, but yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm, as big a fan of the. OG mm-hmm. white bottle. I've never had the red. It smells nice. Yeah. Yeah, it smells... Uh, it doesn't smell like a bourbon, but it does smell woodier than, mm-hmm. than an Irish. Yeah, you, you do smell... Yeah. Yeah, you smell it. You know? All right. Well, cheers, pal. Right. Cheers, bud. Let's make a noise with it and then put it in our mouth. Okay. It's I, smoother than I expected. Me but too. When, when it well, the bourbon the there. The bourbon so feel like, is there. So the the front end is definitely smoother, but the back end is not. Yeah. The back end is... is the heat's there. It's burning. The heat's there. It's burning. I kind of like it. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> I kind of like it. I don't know if I like it like I'd buy a big bottle. No, no. But I, I definitely like it like... I'm not hating that we're doing this. Right. This is, yeah, this is acceptable. Yeah. Like I look at this bottle, I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is doable. Yeah. (laughs) This is is all right. I I just think it's interesting that, you know, because normally you get it and you drink it and you like the whole time it's like, right, right. But this is just not that. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's the warming effect of the the bourbon is kind of there. It's not warming. It's burning. It's fucking burning. Mine's warming now. It's now it's warmer, right? It's it's been tamed. Like the chest, had. my chest area, it's a yeah. little bit warm. Now this would have been like this would throat. have been good before the show, like drinking a little bit of this before the show because it is a nasal decongestant. Ah yes, and yes. By the way, we had a show um, 
for those of you past listening. Friday. Uh, this past Friday, we, we did a show. Both of our bands were on the same bill with our good friends Rebel 9 and uh, and our friends Born to Scars. So yeah, also, yeah. Um, in which was a lot of fun. Beth Page, New York, at a uh, cool little venue called Mr. Beery's. If you're, a, if you're touring through Long Island, if you're uh, coming out to see wineries or whatever would make people come to Long Island, yeah, yes. uh, the beaches maybe. Sure. But uh, Mr. Berry's is a really, really cool little live music venue. It's it's divey. It's got nice beers. It's a good cool sound. spot, good sound, good people. Um, you know, it's it's one of those venues that, like, I always love to go to. Like, if I'm just it's, going out and I'm just randomly going to go somewhere, like, I, th- I'll go to I think we've Let's said go. this before. I think we've said it before that it's, it's kind of like an institution here. Yeah. It's been here forever. Right. It hasn't changed its name in forever. You know those venues that, like... They change their name every five years right, because yeah, yeah. they either change owners or they can't. They go bankrupt and they have to. Or they're trying to bring in new whatever. clientele. Right, uh, Mr. Beery's is a tried and true place, so I do suggest any any bands that are touring. Yeah. Um, in fact, we we were talking about how a band uh, a band on Capulet Fest is is it's got to be playing there. Yeah. Yeah, it's hitting Beery's on that tour. So. Yeah, and uh, people that just want to. Go hang out at a cool bar, see some live music. It's a good spot. Too. And and uh, of course, it is Mr. Beery's, so of course there is a wide array of different types of beers. Lots of beers. So if beers are your thing. And there is a Mr. Beery that you can Steve. find there. Steve Beery, occasionally. He's all, all the, the way, way back at the. So when you walk in, the bar is long, and you go all the way to the yeah. back. He's he's tucked in the corner. He was at the show. He enjoyed himself. Yes, he was very happy. He was very happy also because there was a lot of people there. Yes, there were a lot of people there. And it was 300 degrees in there. It was. It was 300 degrees. Uh, Pinky just made it. Yes. And uh, our good friend Pinky, uh, we know she's been dealing with some health issues. So uh, thank you for being here. And thank you for... Hopefully you're feeling better. Yes. Hopefully things are going good for you. And um, I'll text you after this to make sure. But... uh, from her hospital bed, she's here. Look at that. Well, look at that. Thank you. Pull no punches in the chat. Yeah, you you have your fun. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. Carte blanche today. <laughs> um, so the show was great. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Um, Board of Scars. I I never se- I'd never seen them. I never. I, well, I heard of them. Because, right. Yeah. You yeah. Know, all the same circles and stuff. Mm-hmm. I never played with them. Man, uh, she's got such a great voice. And uh, Tori yeah, they is were an good. incredible singer. They're very good. Yeah, they're, very they're a great good. band. They're uh, they're great players. Tori is an incredible singer. Um, they were amazing. Uh, Rebel Nine always awesome. Their yeah. new songs are Probably. amazing. They're fantastic. Uh, I will say, and I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to keep telling you because you hate it. <laughs> but yo, man, something heavy stole the show, people. Like you guys, um, whatever it was, the the. The combination of the three of you, because you played together so much in the past in different bands and things yeah. like that, just the chemistry and the camaraderie of the three of you on stage, but just like, man, you guys just killed it. Your energy was crazy. You, um, it you sounded great. Everything was on point, and uh, like, I was like, I was sitting there talking to to Phil. Um, my uh, my buddy Phil from Crash Transit, uh, and we were talking, and he was like, he was like, "Yo, this is a this is a this is a follow that fuckers performance," <laughs> and I was like, "It is." Hi everyone, I'm Lisa. And I'm Dawn. And if you've ever watched a TV show and thought to yourself, oh my god, that season finale plot twist was absolutely bonkers. Or seen a movie and thought, wow, I need to talk to somebody about this train wreck immediately. Then we think you'll fit right in with our podcast, I Hate It, Let's Watch It. We watch TV shows like Riverdale and Emily in Paris. And movies like Deep Water, Killer Sofa, Rubber, and Deadly Illusions. And we give them the total rinse they deserve. It's basically group therapy for movie masochists. So come check us out wherever you stream podcasts. That is exactly what that is right there. And I love that. Um, I used to talk all the time, my, my band, we used to talk all the time about how we loved playing shows with the band Midnight Mob. Mm-hmm. Because on any given night, Midnight Mob could wipe the floor with you. Yeah. When they were on and decided to be totally on, they were always great. But like when they 
when everything was firing, man, you nobody could touch them. And so yeah. uh, we would play shows with them, and it would just iron sharpens iron, you know? Like, yeah. it makes yeah. you play better. It makes you do more. And I will say, like, uh, your guys' set, man, I sat there watching your set, and I was like, all right, I'm going to go stretch out because... <laughs> Well, because uh, I got my work cut out for me. It, it and was, I was also like, I can't wait to go try and follow this because then I'm going to give a follow, follow that, that fucker to DJ. To DJ. <laughs> right. And, and, if, and if, we, if you know nothing, if you know nothing else about us and our friendship with DJ, I mean, we already, we, you know that we like to mess with each other. Well, we also like to mess with DJ. Yeah. So if we could both do that, we all win. We all win. That's right. Uh, no, I appreciate that, man. Like, it, it's really cool. Like, I felt it, it was weird because, you know, and we've discussed it on the show a few times where, like, I, I get, I do get very self-conscious and I get very worried about the details mm -hmm. and, and things like that. And, and for whatever reason, things just struck you know, the right way, uh, on Friday night for me personally. And I wasn't stuck in my head. And if there was a mess up, I didn't harp on it or worry about it or anything like that. And I just kind of went with it and, uh, it was good. It was like, it was the, <clears throat> definitely the first time since COVID that I felt like catharsis from a show. Yeah. And that's been what we, we've played together for, Four right. or five shows. Right. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it was cathartic for the first time in, like, since 2019. That's amazing. Uh, so, yeah, it was it was a cool night. I, I, I enjoyed it. And you guys fucking killed it, too, man. Like, Thank you. Like, you guys, I, you, you, trying out new songs. Yeah. Uh, you, you did two new ones. Two new ones. Um, Popping I'm, out some new I'm stuff. disappointed because you were, you know, uh, it, like I said, it was, like, 500 degrees in there. Yeah. Uh, so you, at the end of your set, you were not in like the hey, I'm gonna be social, Jimmy. I need a second. <laughs> I need to catch my breath. Right, I need right, to right. Drink a little bit of of water. Not right. not Jameson water. The water um, was necessary. So uh, so I I did because you did mention to me on Thursday mm -hmm. that you were doing that new song. Right. And then going into Rise without the bass intro, so you didn't. So key was gonna be get weird and yep yep. And I told DJ I was like when he's done. You have yeah. to say, I really like the new song, but what happened in the transition to Rise? And I'm so disappointed that he didn't get to do it. Um, I, I will tell you that uh, I wouldn't have bought it because I knew I nailed that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, you did. You because did. I was like, but, no way am I going to not nail that second song following <laughs> something heavy set. I'm not uh, blowing it in the, in the first Two songs. Five minutes uh, of the set. I, I liked I liked Wake the Dead. I loved the fact that you opened with a new song. That's ballsy. Thank That's you. That's great. That's really cool. I mean, you know, it, it was beery. So if you could do it anywhere, that's, that would be the place. That's kind of what we figured, too. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know, the other new song. Uh, Grains. Yeah. Yeah. That I liked that song a lot. Awesome. Cool. I really liked that song. Yeah, it's different. It's different for us. A I, little, think, I think, kind of, I guess. It's it's a departure. Yeah, I, I was hoping you were gonna bring it back. You know, bring back to rock. You know, bring, yeah, bring back to rock. Right. Well, you know, that's what we opened. <laughs> yeah. This is like a super departure. Super departure. Yeah. We can't. We're no longer a rock band. Yeah. Right. That's what uh, happens sometimes. It does. It does. <laughs> that's, that's no, I'm just kidding. But no, I loved. I loved grains. I loved the new song uh, "Wake the Dead." I'm Thank so you. excited cool. for you guys to go, and. Uh, let Dave massage it, yeah. And make the like, make the pizza dough. Well, I'll be I'll be calling you in for some uh, wake 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 the deads, and uh, probably even some na na nas. Cool. <laughs> so I think we're gonna try and really in in grains that part where there's that it's so sing along. It's so yeah. I mean it's literally na nas. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're gonna we're gonna bring in so many guests to sing that with us. Yeah. Like so that's just it's it's. Guys, girls, everybody that we know that can sing. It's going to be the, your Hey Jude. No. <laughs> how, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you say that? Sorry. What? What a dick. Sorry. Way to set us up for 
failure. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm just saying it's a really good song. So if it's not that good, it's it's, it's Dave's as, fault. It's Dave's fault. I tell you what, it's not as good as Hey Jude. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Okay. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Well, that, that's an opinion. <laughs> that's an opinion. We'll Objective let the people decide. Fact. We'll let the people decide. All right. All right. Is your any of your songs as good as Hey Jude? No. <laughs> no. That's an opinion. That is an opinion. <laughs> No, that's a fact. That that <laughs> one is a fact. That one is definitely a fact. That's an opinion. You're the songbird of our generation. <laughs> that was a bird I'd be a swallow. <laughs> you certainly do. That sounds sexual. Mm-hmm. Fleshlight. Um Fleshlight, yeah. I don't know why fleshlights have been on my mind so much lately. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely random. It really is. But we were, we were having that chat with Felicity, and I just, I like, I just kept so, thinking like, flashlight. Why am I thinking so flashlight? We'll, we'll give you a little bit of a a, a peek, a sneak peek, right. if you will. So we did seven questions with Felicity again because we had two different members from Felicity on. Right. So we had. To, we're gonna do the second, uh, you know, the repeat offenders one, but it was two different members. So we were like, all right, we'll we'll bring it back. Right. Um. And we did the uh, gift cards. Great gift idea. Mm -hmm. Lame gift idea. Mm -hmm. And they were answering, and then all of a sudden, Jimmy just goes, flashlight. <laughs> well, you know what it was? Is he said, he said, it's like the, he's like, it's the gift you give someone you don't like. And then he was like, it's like a gift you give to like your new father in law. New stepfather. stepfather. New, new stepfather. Stepfather. That's right. That's right. Stepfather. Right. And so, for some reason, I was just like, flashlight. <laughs> Because I just imagined a scenario where right. you were like, uh, don't do my mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, wow. Which wow. was funny to me. Um, yeah. We got uh, Donna says, tell me if I'm wrong, but the vibe in the room was so awesome and almost like an anti-anxiety vibe. It felt familiar and safe. I agree a thousand percent. Um, yeah. I, 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 I know that there was a lot of comparisons of the old days. Mm -hmm. Um and I, it didn't I feel know. nostalgic. It didn't, it didn't feel nostalgic. I just feel like it was more community. Yeah, and it was like a, this. The, the community felt stronger. It felt like every single person in the room was there for the same reason. Yeah, and it was like the good reason. They were like yeah. there to to spend time with every single person in that room. Yeah, you know, it wasn't just like I'm coming to see one band and leaving. Um, it wasn't, uh, I'm just wandering in off the street. It wasn't, it, I don't know. It just, it really had a vibe of like, cool, this is a fun place to be and all be here together. Yeah. And we're all going to kind of do this yeah. together, which, which was awesome. And it was know? cool. It was cool. You know, James Pathmaker was there. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kyler from, uh, Kyler from Muckrakers, Muckrakers was there. Was there. Uh, Dude, Phil yeah. was there. Phil was there. You know, we had uh, Dylan from Dino Skate Park. Was Dylan, there. yeah, yeah. I always like to do that when he's he's around. Dylan, Dylan. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It was a good it was a good time. And uh, beers are not cheap anymore. <laughs> beers which, are not which, cheap anymore. Uh, that is you know, true. Which is uh, hey, listen, everybody's got inflation is a bitch, and everybody's got to make their money. And uh, yeah, flashlight, flashlight, yeah. Uh, <laughs> No, we had a great time. It was good. We're gonna, we got some cool stuff in the works, both of us. Yeah. So uh, we're both... Something Heavy is going to be doing some stuff with... Well, a song with Dave. Yeah. And that, uh, I'm excited for that. That's yeah, cool. we're going we're gonna to be recording vocals for it soon. Yep. Uh, That's you, going to be you're, fun. You're back in the studio with Dave. We are back in the studio with Dave. Um, we, are, we are recording... Uh, Grains and... Um, and um, Wake the Dead are both songs that we are currently recording for the next batch of three. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so there's one more. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and then we have another four lined up after that already. Yeah. Um, so I, I man, it's something just, we're talking about doing. And then yep, yeah, something we're we're something, something. we've got another in the work. Plus we've got the bacon is the my bacon passion, is my passion stuff. stuff in the works. Which um, which. Uh, you know, Jeff should be ready in the next uh, couple of weeks. We could start jamming on him. And yeah, so those of you that have been have... keeping up with that over on our Twitch, uh, thank you for doing that. Yeah. We've been having a really good time um, 
creating a EP yeah. over on Twitch. Uh, last week, a little bit of a departure. We started doing a cover song, which I guess we're going to do a cover now too, which is going to yeah. be which is going to be awesome. So. Um, you know, everyone is doing Dave. Everyone is doing Dave. Everyone John. is doing Dave. Uh, Dave is <laughs> Dave is one of our favorite people in the world. He is. Uh, if you're familiar amazing. with the show, Dave Caggiano, the producer, he's been on the show um, yeah. a couple times. Couple and times. He, and he's been yeah. on the 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 Twitch stream and several Twitch. times as well. And we even dropped some of those episodes in in this feed. So, yep. uh, if you get a chance, go go check back uh, some of the Twitch things, and you can see Dave hard at work. Yeah, molding, molding like the, clay, molding like clay, like moldy clay. No, it's not moldy. No, it's not that moldy. I thought it was molding. Well, you're molding. You're not right. moldy. Well, to get moldy, you have to. Mold. You have to be. You have to be okay, molding you, to get moldy. At some point, you, you have molding. To, or moldy. I thought you meant like the person molding is the moldy. They are also the moldy or, or the, the person, the person being mold. Yeah. If if mold. I'm being molded, then I'm the moldy. Right. So he so he is the molder. He is the molder. So we are the moldies. We are moldy. So we are moldy. See. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I hate when you're right. So does everyone else. <laughs> uh, you know, I get that a lot. Something that we wanted to right talk about just a little bit, like we have our discussion and drinks topics. We were able to do a little bit of fun talk about what we, you know, what happened with our week, which yeah. is great. But uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about, and the reason why it's so fresh in my mind is because recently I was talking with my kids and their TV watching habits are just completely different from what we knew and what we what we experienced, right? Right, right, okay. So if you were an 80s or 90s kid, TV, like, thinking back at it, TV was, like, watching was maddening, right? Yes. Uh, because these kids, they can watch several seasons in a row mm -hmm. right away or like a whole season of something because the whole thing drops right well right they can like, pause it for all of you listening right pee. now that have no idea what we're talking about um think about how annoyed you are if you're a watcher of like um any of the disney star wars shows and you're like why don't they just put it all down at once yeah they make me wait a week right that was life mm -hmm. that was life but what was even worse about it is... And with commercials. And a set time. Mm -hmm. And a set time. So, like, X-Men. Saturday if morning. I, Saturday mornings at 11. Yep. If you were not available, if you missed it... That was it. Tough break, bro. Yeah, you might see that episode again in three years. I gotta pee. Well, you better wait for the commercial. Wait for the commercial. And you better hope it's not one of those quick 60-second ones. Yep. Because by the time you run up the stairs, go pee, and come back down, episode could start all, start all again. Yep. Yeah, there was no, there's no pause. I don't want this to be the the old men yelling at the sky episode, but I feel like this is going to become <laughs> the old men yelling at the sky episode. Well, no, because I think old men yelling at the sky are the ones that are yelling it was better in my day. And oh, okay. It, and it was yeah. not better in our No, day. it was absolutely <laughs> it not better. Oh, compared? Like, you didn't know it sucked, right? You were just, like, excited. But now, looking back on it, comparatively to today, oh, it sucked. Yeah. Oh, it sucked so bad. I I, I don't mind the, the weekly... Um, especially, like, some, some shows don't do just one episode. Yeah. Some shows will do, like... Batches of three, batches mm -hmm. of two, whatever. So that well, like that's nice. You might get a long episode that's forty minutes, which would have been broken into two episodes with all sure. the ad breaks too. So it's like you still get more story. Sometimes you'd get like no story. Yeah. In your twenty minute show with ten minutes of commercials. Yeah. And then it's over and you're just like, ah. Oh. But okay, so let's pick that Saturday morning at eleven, mm -hmm. right? Um, what, what was the thing that most often destroyed your ability 
to do Saturday morning X Men at eleven. You know, I'm going to see if, if any kids these days have the same issue I did. What's up, guys? We got a little hint for you here. A little secret. Mm. How do you help the show? We've been asked. We've been asked. Here's a way to help the show. Check us out over at patreon.com slash baconismypod. You can get lots of extra stuff. Yeah, like additional shows, ad-free episodes, early episodes. Shoot. Every Sunday... We record our discussions and drinks live, live with our patrons. Yeah, so you can have a drink with us while we do it. You can watch us cook things. You can watch us eat things. You can just support the show, and that helps us keep putting these out. It helps us uh, just keep the show free. Keep the show free. So thank you guys so much for supporting all of you over on Patreon already. Our patrons, you guys are our lifeblood. Thank you guys so much. And if you want to help out the show and you want to jump on, you want to be part of that bimp squad, jump over to patreon.com slash pod. Well, you know what, it, and and this is and this sounds like an asshole thing to say, right. but it, it, it's you know, as a as a young child who wants to watch his shows, but we used to we used to live out east, mm-hmm. and we would every weekend pretty much be out here seeing our grandparents. Okay, and I had karate a lot of the time during the week, and sometimes on Saturdays, but not you know not all the time, right. But, Sometimes on Saturdays and stuff, um, but you do have to get to this, you know, to the dojo certain amount of times a week. Yeah. Um, so if I if it was like they couldn't, my parents couldn't take me to karate during the weekend, then I had to do a Saturday. That was one thing. Right. And it was like, but I don't want to go Saturday because I will miss X Men. Right. And then. Um, of which no commutes. adult will ever understand. Yet, dad has to watch the game. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. It's the same thing! Yeah. And then also there's the, uh, you know, the the usual, like the like I said, we were coming out here. So the commute. So yeah. if, the, if the, long, the ride was too long, I'd miss it. Um, a lot of the times, now this is the other thing. We have DVRs. DVRs are pretty good. Yeah. If you know how, you know, if you get something that's live, do a little bit of an overshot. Yeah. Record an extra 15, 20 minutes, that right? That was always the Monday Night Raw thing. You had to right. start at five minutes early, end at 10 minutes late. Right. Um, but back then, I would always get the, we're going we're gonna to record it on VCR. Right. Yeah. Um, I don't know about you. But that timer on the VCR, horse shit, <laughs> never fucking worked. <laughs> never, ever, no. ever worked. No. I. I well, that's because if you look at the VCR, the time was always twelve. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes, sometimes that was the case. Because it got, it always got unplugged to plug in like the vacuum, right? Or you know, something else, something else that yeah. needed to be done. Um, but yeah. Uh, like remember that we had to set a timer and just pray that that timer would work yeah and and the the fate of our week <laughs> hinged on that fucking timer yeah well let's also talk about the lack of good um like multi outlet <laughs> yeah <laughs> right yeah. you maybe had the one, the skinny white cord mm-hmm. that had like three plugs on the, yeah, on the end. On the end of it. Right? And that thing always was frayed in the middle mm-hmm. and had like some kind of copper wire sticking out of it. Yep. Yep. Right? And that had uh, that had a lamp, the TV, and the VCR. All those were plugged into that. And then there was usually like another light plugged into the actual wall outlet with it. Yep. All right. And that thing would get unplugged to put in, like, the Nintendo. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, VCR was never on point. No. no. My my thing that, that wrecked... Oh. So, every morning, every Saturday morning, I would wake up. And I would just, I would just like, hope that I wouldn't hear a, a very specific sound. And that very specific sound was my door opening and my dad going, hey, buddy. Because that meant one of 
one of three things was going to happen. One was, I need you to mow the lawn, buddy, before 11. And I'd be like, oh, I, can, I can do it at any time today. I can do it at any time. Can do it. No, it needs to be done at this time. Or, we're going to go wash my car. I, I don't want to wash your car. <laughs> Why am I washing your car? <laughs> what do I? Why am I washing your car? <laughs> Why am I going with you to a car wash? Right? And my dad wouldn't drive through the car wash. We had to go to the car wash. They had the gun and you, you, and you had put the, the quarters in. Yeah, yeah and you had yeah. that and you have that. But then we had to come back home and we had to like take chamois to dry it off with. Well of course you can't get the streaking. Right? Yeah. yeah. Can't get the streak. So I had to sit there with like like a leather chamois and I'm like slapping it on the car. It's like whoop bah <laughs> just slowly drag it down the side. The whole time I'm like, whoop bah X-Men's on right now. <laughs> I want to know what happens to Morph, God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> right? Yeah. It was those two, or it was like uh, vacuum the pool. Oh yeah. Right? Because we did it. We had a we had a pool in the backyard. I'm not bragging. It's in the Midwest. Right. It's what you have. And uh, and so I had to vacuum the pool. And if I had to vacuum the pool, I could start it at ten o'clock, and I could be in to see X Men. Yeah. Except for the fact that my dad said vacuuming the pool takes a minimum of an hour. And if it takes you less than an hour, it's not done right. So if I started it late, that dude would time me. <laughs> and then when I was done, he'd let me think I was done. And then when I finished the pool, he'd be like, all right, jump in the car. We're going to go clean the car. And I'd be like, son of a bitch! <laughs> I want to watch my shows. I did my chores. I need 30 minutes. <laughs> yes. 30 minutes. Give me 30 minutes. Yeah. And it was, I, anytime you wanted me to do something, it was always just in time for X-Men. So I saw very few of those shows. Well, luckily it's up on Disney Plus. <laughs> and I and watched it binge watch then. it. Yeah. And now All you can binge watch day. it. So yeah, that was, uh, that was my. <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, man, it's like. And it's such a foreign thing to them. Yeah. Like, just to my kids, it's 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 such a foreign thing where they're just like, you had to watch it at a certain time? Right. Like, yeah. That's the only time it was on. That's it. And then maybe in the summer you can get reruns. Mm-hmm. But they would never play them in order. No. That's the other thing that would annoy me. I'm like, why? Why not? Why? Why won't you do that? Why? Why? There's a story. So you'd see it, and there'd be a to be continued, and then the next week would come up, and it would be a whole different thing. And you'd be like, what? what? Right. What happened? Right. Exactly. They used to do that with sitcoms too. Yep. Which was the worst because if yeah. you missed something during the season, now sitcoms, a lot of the times they were very much like singular episodes, right? right? But. There were, you know, once they started getting toward the end of the show, there were there was a recurring story. Yeah, or you get the random like um, "just say no to drugs" episode that carried over to another episode. Cause, sure, like, you know, like Kimmy got a problem because she got into her mom's pills. Yeah, <laughs> and it was just like, man, can't you just play, just play it, just replay it, just replay it? Yeah, that's all I need. Yep. Um, and then, oh man. And then the worst was when it would be like, you wait all week to see one of the episodes that you probably missed, and they play something for three seasons before mm. that. And you're like, this is out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is ridiculous. Who's running Who's running the, sh the ship there? Yeah. I, I hated program directors once I realized who they were. Yeah. You know, later in life, I was like, you guys... You ruined. ruined. You ruined so you many ruined things. It. Like, nobody, nobody should not get to know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> if you put a, an episode that carries on to another episode, you need to put that other episode on the next time. You have to. It's just cruel. Yeah. It's mean to do. Uh, and you know what else nobody watched? The Westminster's Kennel Club Dog Show. Oh my God! Don't preempt my shows <laughs> for the Westminster oh. Kennel Show. Oh, I hate you. The height. You ruin my day. The height. 
of the wrestling wars. <laughs> right. Monday Night Raw. The Attitude Era. Steve Austin last week. <laughs> right. Something happened. And I want to know what happened this week. And I don't get to know because the Westminster's Kennel Club Dog Show well, is going to be on we... for two weeks. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, it's, and it's not even just one week. Yeah. It preempts it for two weeks. And there's no way that that Kennel Club thing was two weeks long. And then it was pre-taped. That shit's over in a day because nobody's there. <laughs> it was pre-taped, so they'd either play it, they'd start the show at like 11 or 11.30, or, or there's always the Thursday Raw Thursdays right, right. that they used to do, which was lame because it's, I carve out... This amount of time right, right. on my Mondays. You've to... made me set this side, set this time aside. Right, right. Donna brings up a, a good yeah, point. Yeah, I was just going to say the holiday specials, right? And Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Um, holiday specials once a year that would be if I missed Frosty and Rudolph mm -hmm. and the Grinch. Mm -hmm. That uh, and and Charlie Brown. If I miss those four. I mean that's that's the, the big four. Yeah, that is the big four. You can't you can't miss all of them, uh, and yeah, uh, that was the awful. That was awful. Well, now I got them all on DVD. So right now you can watch them anytime you, you want. Yeah. Well, now you can go on YouTube. Yeah, and just watch it. Not all. No, not all of them. Uh, you can find. Well, you can go online. You can you find. Can, you, you can, can go can find on, anything on the deep, really. deep dark web to to go watch. Go on Rudolph. the dark web to get Wizard of Oz. <laughs> You know what? Somebody out there, go on the dark web. <laughs> Order Wizard of Oz in a box. <laughs> See what comes. It's gonna cost you it's gonna cost you five thousand dollars. <laughs> and there's and there's gonna be a human hand inside. Or a flashlight. Or a flashlight. The human hand holding a flashlight. Oh yeah. Will there be that's... anything in that flashlight? Let's hope not. Don't turn it upside down. Yeah. Don't empty it. <laughs> wow, this got dark. It did. We go. Well, we went to the dark web. <laughs> we did. We did. That was my fault. That was my fault. My bad. My bad, Cap. I just, I just, I just roll down the hills that I find. <laughs> that's uh, that's how I work, man. Uh, all right. Time out. We've got all these awesome sponsors here. Right. Um, where can they find all the information out for that? Oh, if only there was a place. If there was only a, a portal, a hub, a, a central hub to a do so. A central location. Wait. I think there is. Do we have the technology? Yes, yes, yes. Baconismypodcast.com is where you can find the best deals on all of our awesome sponsors, including Drink Wild Bills, Pod Decks, Manscaped. All of them. Um, go over there, find their promo codes. You always get the best deals. But what else can you get over there? Well, not only can you get the best deals, and we'll always keep those uh, up to date, you can also help out the show by grabbing some T-shirts, some yeah. swag. Jump over to the Bacon Is My Fashion section. Yeah, there's a whole section. It's just there for you. It's there for you. You can check it out. We have nice T-shirts. They, uh, they don't chafe. The nice to the nips, you know I like that. You know Jimmy's you all know about like his that. nice to the nips. I'm like the Drax of this show. You exactly. Know? I got sensitive nipples, man. I got sensitive nipples. It's if fine. you have sensitive nipples, check that out. And uh, you know what? How about your ear holes? You want to take care of those ear holes? Because you can find links to all of our episodes. How about your eyeballs? You want, mm -hmm. you want those eyeballs? You can find links to our YouTube, Strangerhood TV. You can check out everything right from baconismypodcast.com. It's easy. It's super simple. It's right there. What's your bacon? I will say... That when you go to this site, that will be your new bacon. That will be your new bacon. Check it out. Man, yeah, preemptions were awful. Uh, also, it's so weird when, when like, sports things were, when, were preempted yeah. because of weather. Yeah. And they thought that you could not turn the channel. Like I know there was a, I know there was a time and a place when there was only a certain amount of channels, right? Mm -hmm. But eventually, we got into the cable era, right? And uh, eventually, meaning like early '80s, right? <laughs> like, and why are you still giving us '70s programming? Trips? Right, and they and they always put, they always put 
the, the like the honeymooners. What does that have to do with sports? And what, right. what, what, don't you want people to come back for the sports? Right. People are going to change it. The, they're changing it. The, they're going to change it. Yeah. They're there to look for sports. You're just putting on whatever's in the room. Guess what? It's raining in New York. You know where it's not raining? <laughs> Someplace else. <laughs> Most and they're going to watch sports. Yeah. So why wouldn't you put like another game on? You know, it's like you got you got affiliate stations. Put mm-hmm. another game on. They'll sit there. They'll sit there and watch the game. The game. Don't you get ad- paid for advertising? Then they'll get invested in that game, and then when you switch back to the games, they might. Oh, change, yeah. They might change point. the channel. It's a, no. And find the other game. Yeah, but they tuned into the initial game. Yeah, that's true. You know, um, I do get that though, where you get invested and stuff like that. But wouldn't it be smarter? You do, do something baseball oriented. Do like a yeah. roundtable with with baseball legends or whatever it is. Fucking honeymooners. Show an old game. Right. Honeymooners? What are you kidding me? Yeah. Highlights. Highlights. You know who who watches the honeymooners? Frank. Of course he does. My guitar player watches the honeymooners. Of course he does. Like he gets really into like I always I always have to ask him, I'm like, Are you are you older than you like I than I think you are? And he's not. Right. It's just for whatever reason when he was growing up, like that's what I guess his mom watched and so that's what he watched. So he's like He's like, yo, man, welcome back, Cotter. And I'm like, what? Get, what are you talking about? And like, he'll do quotes from it, like, in the room. Like, <laughs> he'll, he'll interject to something, and it'll be like a quote from, like, the odd couple. And everybody will just look around, and they'll be like, what? And he's like, the odd couple, man. And we're all like, no, 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 there's no the odd couple, man. <laughs> so, what, do you, what the hell do you mean? You know what's kind of weird? <laughs> It's kind of weird that, like, well, okay, so, so, here we are. We're in we're in a, it, in the era that we are now, right? And and we watch shows. You know, you you figure from like Friends, right, right, where it's not necessarily a catchphrase because there were catchphrases like Urkel. Did I do For that? Sure. Did or, I do you know, that? And, Whoa, yeah, yeah. But uh, when you've got like honeymooners they had they had the hooky ones Mm -hmm. right but could you imagine somebody quoting things the way people would quote shows like now right because you you get a whole season and there's an awesome quote from it and you and i can like tear through them and have an awesome time right you can't i feel like you can't do that with those shows yeah i well i feel like the and i don't know if people did that back then you know they they're not standing around the water cooler going, that odd couple episode, <laughs> right, right, like, right. I I just don't feel like they're as quotable. I I bet they were. I bet they were in their time. I think things are quotable based on the the way people speak at the time that it's happening, and we're definitely in 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 an era, and we were we weren't in one at the beginning, but we were coming up in an era that was really built upon. Um, sound bites, right? You know, things being sold on sound bites, right? Um, so I think like that was that's a unique. We're uniquely kind of coming up during that era, but you'd get that if something got a big laugh in a show, they'd bring it back, you yeah, know, and it would start to be kind of done over and over and over again. Yeah, I, I mean, but I mean, if you think of movies that were coming up, like think of movies like Die Hard and stuff. Oh like, yeah, they're, they're everything quotable, is ultimately super quotable. quotable. Like, and even even like Rambo movies in the in the eighties and shit. What like Rambo movies? You look at you listen, you watch old no, 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 Rambo. Quotable. Movies. Sure they are. I can't think of a quote. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure there was one. Well, I'll be back. We got Terminator. That was right. an old movie. Sure. No, well, movies. I, I'm not talking about movies. But yeah, movies but, are quotable. But so I think I think things were quotable, but just in a different kind of way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, speaking of shows. Yeah. And super quotable, and all that See, stuff. See, Donna said, "Odd couple" is so quotable. Uh, Shoot some. Odd give couple us a quote. Us. Give us an odd couple quote. We'll put it up on the screen. Give us. Give us we'll the see. quote. That's gonna make everybody go, "Oh man," and. Uh, Golden Girls, yes, yes, Pinky. Yes, Golden Girls, very good. Very Golden good. Girls is fantastic. Um, Although I can't think of any quotes from Golden Girls. Right. Yeah. 
Like, well, that's because I'm sure there was were, but it, it's more situational. You know, you get that look from Blanche. Like, they, it, right. like there, there's certain things like that that would happen. Yeah. But, hmm. but I can't think of a Golden Girls yeah. quote, other uh, than the song being glorious iconic. and yeah. iconic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a super quotable, and actually, he really embraces it, and whatever. If you ever get a chance on Netflix, Fubar. I haven't watched it yet. I want oh, to. Oh man, I want to check great. it out. Great, it it's is Arnold. really good. He's quotable. That's what he does. It is so good. He brings in quotes from old movies. I'm not going to spoil it okay. because there are some that really made. Me are they pop. his old movies? Because he does that in every movie. <laughs> oh no, no, no! But it's not just that. Oh wait, here we go. Oh wait, I have a honeymooners one. It can't. Can it core an apple? All right. I wish we had the crickets thing. I, <laughs> I wish I had context. It was probably really right. Funny it was probably very funny. It's probably very funny for the time. I, I, I bet it was talk. Wasn't was, there like a pow right in the kisser or something? Pow like right in the kisser. Yeah, yeah. Or bang yeah. zoom to the moon. Bang zoom to the moon. Or one of these days. Why I oughta? Why I oughta? No, that's isn't that <laughs> is that Three I Stooges? I don't know. <laughs> Um, See, listen I, to all these quotes from old things. We well, just that's, ran that's through a bunch like, of them. That's the gimmick. That's the gimmick one. Right, yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. one quote. But we did just do quotes from a bunch sure. of things. No, but, but that we couldn't think of a second ago. But, like, I'm talking about the, the, the subtle, small gimmick. Uh, like right, quotes right. Okay. From, from places. Um, can it core an apple? No, we don't I, know that I one. have no idea what I that would is. imagine he's talking about, because of the way that things were back then, I would, I would imagine the, the husband is asking about something that the wife wants to buy yeah i would guess that that's that's what i'm guessing i i've maybe seen um pinky says pivot either she's yeah, friends i was gonna say either that's a quote or she's, or she's telling us to to oh, yeah. <laughs> bail yo bail. guys bail time to go um <laughs> Pins and needles, needles and pins. I don't know I, what that is. I'll be I'll be honest though. I'm not I'm not good at that because I've seen maybe two episodes of the Honeymooners ever in my life. I've never seen the Odd Couple. Um, I've seen maybe three episodes of Friends in my life because oh, yeah. I just I didn't watch them. I wasn't yeah. into it. I wasn't into. Um, I was into more of the dramatic shows. Like I watched like um, I watched like Nine Hundred Two One Zero. Oh okay. <laughs> And like, um, what was the other one? It was uh, so ear, Mel, earring. Melrose Place. Oh yeah. Like I watched those. Yeah. I got into that for some reason. I don't that's know. awful. I it yeah. That's awful. It was, but that's I was more into the dramas. Than yeah. The, than the comedies. The the unintentionally funny. Yeah. 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 I was a big uh, I was a big Saved by the Bell guy. I liked Saved by the Bell. And there was a lot of... I mean, I couldn't do it right now because I'm on the spot. Right, there were a right, lot right. of quotable things from Yeah, me. definitely. Definitely. That sure. weren't like... They weren't meant to be, mm-hmm. but they were also... They are just like iconic moments that you can quote. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, what was this? Uh, like, uh, Models, Inc.? <laughs> what? I watched, I watched one called Models, Inc., I think, that was... It was... It was on like for one season, and it was like another offshoot of like Melrose. Right. Like I watched all those. Uh, what was? Because uh, of, did you have a flashlight? Is party that of five. You had a flash flashlight. Flashlight. I didn't. I did not have. If I had a flashlight, I probably wouldn't have watched anything. <laughs> I was. I a, thought. I thought that's why you watched was, Models Inc. I was a. I was a teen. <laughs> oh, party of five. Party of five. I watched. Okay. I, uh, I, I didn't. Yeah. No. I never did any of the the the. Jen Jen watched like just recently. She just rewatched Gilmore Girls, and I was okay. like, I can't do that. Um, she watched Dawson. I was like, I can't. I had a little thing for Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, I think everybody did. You know, especially when Jennifer Love Hewitt um, went through puberty. Yeah. Oh, that was a game changer. That was. That's like. Uh, as soon as she was on, I know what you did last summer. I was like, oh, I know what I'm doing this summer. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Flashlight. Yep, flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of the shows that I watched. Like, I, I wasn't into the dramas really. And I it was more about comedies and stuff. There was a, there was a point where I just didn't really watch TV at all. I watched I watched wrestling. Yeah, yeah, I watched wrestling. Um, but it wasn't until relatively le- recently when Jed and I started going back. 
Uh, not recently. Like, we've been married for 12 years now. and Wow. Yeah, we, we've been moved out for, like, four, 13 or 14. Yeah. So, all of a sudden, it was just one of those things where she kind of introduced me to, like, True Blood. That shit was great. Yeah, you know what was not great? When her dad was like, you should check this show out, True Blood. Mm -hmm. And he had us watch the first episode. And the first scene was a woman chained to the ceiling. Right. Getting getting, uh, plowed from behind. Right. And he was just standing there. As, uh, as the guy that said you should watch this. And I was like, <laughs> oh, wow. Um, okay. Uh, that was that was awkward. But but yeah. but it was a good show. That's a weird up until, one. Up until I, I didn't finish the series. I didn't finish it either. I didn't finish the series. but I've finished very few series. See, it wasn't until like Dexter. I didn't finish Dexter. Dexter, I, want to. I, I finished. I need to go back. Dexter uh, finished. Question from the patrons. Hmm? Uh, have you have you heard Jennifer Love Hewitt's music? Yes. I, I did. I did hear her music. Um, all right. What were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was Dexter. That was... I had to finish. It was Dexter and then Breaking Bad. Okay. Those two series really changed my outlook on drama series and needing to watch them and stuff like that so i finished supernatural see i haven't finished that yet and uh lucifer There's so many i love both oh of those. lucifer's so good we got we we stopped lucifer too i don't know why it's so good man yeah it is a really good series that one like um any i feel like the... that's a quotable series though lucifer oh yeah. yeah there's so many in there yeah like he's he like they just—he was just written so well because he's great. Yeah, he's a great character. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I like Supernatural is funny because I was all the way into season eight mm-hmm. when Annie first started watching season one. Wow! And then she got really into it, so I had to just stop yeah. at season eight and then just watch with her from season one because there was no way I was watching part like an episode from season one and then skipping ahead to season yeah eight. yeah I, I was like all right i just got to go back and do all this with you again and so by the time we got to season eight again it they were on like season 12 right so you <laughs> so were you were in good shape i was able to kind of get through that's cool yeah jen jen actually has done oh, like lucifer times. too yeah lucifer is jen, so good jen uh was it uh marvelous miss Maisel? i haven't seen that dude is it good it is hilarious it is great okay it is really really well written really cool and and i'm not really i don't really love time period movies yeah um there are a few exceptions like you know league of their own Mm -hmm. i really liked and um like captain america was a good time period yeah thing but does that count i guess that counts yeah yeah i mean wonder woman also both of those are fantastic uh, I, I I like pe- yeah Wonder Woman. I I like time period. I don't like time period pieces on the whole. Okay. Uh, but that is like I couldn't get through Mad Men. Right. Or did you get into Game of Thrones? I, I no, I haven't watched Game of Thrones yeah. yet. Um, but yeah, it was a period piece in the fifties, sixties. Um, and it's it's about comedy. Mm-hmm. It's about a comic coming up kind oh, of thing cool. and, and, okay. and growing into their own and whatnot it's it's a really 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 good show really well written enough drama but some of the stuff they say is just absolutely hilarious and nice. I'll have to highly recommend it i'll have to check it out i started peaky blinders um i heard that was very good i heard it was amazing i got through like two episodes with annie and she was like i'm i'm out and so i just haven't started watching again um <clears throat> Because I, I I was trying to like juggle a few different things at once. You know, I was like getting through like Hawkeye, and yeah. like getting through all those things, and those are my priorities. Yeah, right. You know, like the Marvel, uh, the Marvel ones are my priorities. Something that uh, I tried. Donna brought up X Files. I loved X Files, but I have never seen X Files. Was one of those shows that I could never see two weeks in a row. 
because I, I just had something my else. time was weird that way. Well, and that was on that, that was on Sundays too, right? Yeah, 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 that was on Sundays, and that was one of those shows that I I really liked it, but I couldn't see consecutive episodes, and so I never knew what was going on, so I just I just fell off, and I'm like, now I want to go back and watch it now that I can, now that I can binge it. Yeah, you know, I want I want to go through and I want to check out X Files because I really liked it when I any any episodes that I saw. Um, you know, I watched, I didn't finish Lost. Oh, yeah, I, I yeah, Because they, like, not as a pun, but they lost me. Like, yeah, they they, they totally, lost a lot of people. Yeah. I, I, I saw that through. Heroes, season one, I loved. I heard season, season two. two was garbage. They lost me. Uh, something that, and this might be a hot take, and I know you, you, you haven't watched it, but... The Office. Hmm. Okay. I've seen a few episodes. Um, we were told you got to stick with it. You got to yeah. keep going. You got to do it. Um, we did the first season. Apparently, the problem with the first season was is that they went line for line on the UK version, and the humor just didn't translate. Gotcha. Okay. By the second, by the second ep, uh, season. They started doing their own thing, like they literally and just gave the same scripts to. The, yes, yes, they did. That basically seems the same, like such a dumb idea. Yeah. Um, so then. Wow, I was not aware of that. Then, the second season they start going, and, and everybody keeps saying, "Oh, you got to get into." Once you hit season three, it's easy watching for whatever. Jen and I have watched season one and season two. And the first episode of season three was uh, about, it, I mean, the, the name of it, the episode was called Gay Witch, Witch Hunt. Okay. And it was basically about how the, the manager used a derogatory term for gay mm -hmm. and somebody in the office was gay. And that they were offended by it. Now you learn that this person is gay in the second uh, second season. Or something. Okay. And um, it's basically it's it's really super uncomfortable because they they go to HR and and it's a corporate thing, so they're trying to fix it and all that kind of stuff. And then man, the manager who is Steve Carell. I was like, this is in the office. <laughs> yeah. The manager, Steve Carell, he's basically like, no, no, don't worry, uh, HR, I'm going to take care of it. And the way it was done and the way it was taken care, taken care of and stuff like that, like it was, it was basically like overly sexual harassing this guy. Okay. Like, like because he felt sorry about using the derogatory term, he was like, well, we, we have to hug. And then it was, like, uncomfortable because it was, like, we have to kiss because I am accepting of this. And it was just, like, <laughs> I know this was a little while ago. Right, like, I right. know this was probably in 2006, seven or whatever. But, man, it does not translate now. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of that. There, There is, but, uh, like, even Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec, I didn't have to wait three seasons for it to get good. Right, right. Parks and Rec was good after, you know, the first the first few episodes, established the characters, and then it was great. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if there's really, like, they really sit in that really uncomfortable spot. Right, right. For a really long time in that, in that episode. And that was the first episode of that season. And Jen was basically like, I don't want, I can't, I can't do this. Right, right. Because it was like, it was that uncomfortable. Hmm. So, hot take, I don't think I'm going to keep watching The Office. I guess not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it was just, you know, like, swing we joked a, around. Swing and a miss. We, we, we joke around, you know, everybody jokes around a little bit here mm -hmm. and there. But this was like, this was too much. This was a bit too much. So, we stopped The Office. That is the, uh, that is the beauty of choice, everyone. If, uh, if something's out there and you don't like watching it or you don't like seeing it or you don't like hearing it, you don't have to. Correct. Right? Yeah. Um, 
What about Northern Exposure? No, I, I have not. I never watched Northern Exposure. Um, I know it exists. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. Um, what was that other show that was like kind of around the same era as the X Files? That was um, kind of supernatural, but more creepy. Oh shit! I can't remember the name of it. Um, I'll get it. I'll get it. They made a movie of it too. If someone's someone's out there. Twin Peaks. Thank you, Donna. Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Okay. Um, I remember starting that and thinking that it was like really cool and interesting. And then again, uh, I the Buffy. I come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Uh, another <laughs> Buffy show. was awesome. Another but show. Twin Peaks. Was... I started and thought was really cool, and I get why people are such huge fans of it, and I want to go back and see it. But it was another one where I didn't get to see things consecutively, so I just couldn't. Yeah. You know. Because of the times we were in. Yeah. I had to watch commercials, and I had to miss episodes. And then you were screwed. You know what show I am absolutely, completely, just shocked that it's still a thing? Grey's Anatomy. I never got it. The first... I, I, listen, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. Yeah. And I enjoyed some of it. Cool. Uh... But, literally, the last three or four episodes was some sort of, like, truly horrific and awful event. And it was a way to kill off somebody. Okay. And the main character, Meredith, um, there's no way that somebody can live through that much trauma. Gotcha. They cannot. They just can't. Literally, so it 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 erased your um, uh, your ability to kind of roll with what's going on in the show. Suspending yeah. your, your display, suspending your disbelief. Suspending. Well, hey, listen, we watch wrestling, right? So right, but we, that's what we I'm have saying. To suspend they, disbelief. They pushed it but so far, man. You can't. Man, she was in a fucking plane crash, and then it, a boat accident, and then uh, uh, just. Constant, like, crazy, crazy, crazy tragic events. Yeah. And it's like, this doesn't happen to people. Not for 20-something seasons. <laughs> like, right, right, right. If if something this traumatic happened to me every year, I'd just never leave the house. I'd get a new job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I just, no, I wouldn't. Leave the profession. I'd, I'd never, no, no. Uh... House was okay. a great show. House is House. a really good show. Yeah. House is a good show. It wasn't one that I stuck with, but I've seen episodes and it's really good. Um, yeah. I, I never watched House, but I... I ER? I ER was a good ER show. ER was a thing. It was a good medical show. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. seeing a few episodes of that. But nothing that grabbed me. Nothing grabbed me and like pulled me in yeah. so much. Um, but yeah, House I liked. I thought that was a cool... That was a yeah. pretty cool show. I... Uh, I, I like I, I like the way that I'm able to watch TV now. Yeah, I like the way that I can wait for something to be like three or four seasons deep, mm -hmm. and then I can start watching, and then I can watch it every night. Yeah, if I fall asleep um, watching to watching something, I can go back to where the last thing I remember yeah. was and just start. Yeah, and 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 you can just be completely immersed in the show yeah. as opposed to waiting. And then every week be out of it and then go back, you know? Yep. I, I love that. Yeah, I, like, shows I that I really learned to appreciate later because I was able to go back and watch them in succession were, like, Batman the Animated Series. Yeah. Right? Um, uh, there was the Spider-Man cartoon also yeah. where Joe Perry did the song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, those two... I, I got to appreciate later because I never got to see enough of yeah. them in a row to like really kind of do that. Well, you, um, you just didn't know that there was a story. Right, exactly. Heroes I watched in succession. Yeah. I didn't watch that on TV when it was happening. Um, and that's why I was able to kind of do that as well because it was like literally I could just go to the next episode and keep it going. If I was if I was into it, I could just be into it yeah. and go. So those are things I, I look 
back on and went like, oh, cool, now I got that. Uh, we have a we have a comment in here. Sometimes I feel like there are too many options. Oh yeah. And by the time I find what I want, I'm ready for better. I I Option agree with paralysis. that. Hundred yep. percent, Donna. Thing. Oh my God, picking it's a real thing. P- that I think that's why so many people uh, just go to the nostalgia train and watch an old show that they've watched before. Right. Because it's it takes so much so new long to figure out something that it's just easier to put something on that you know you like, and then you just fall back into the habit of rewatching. Stuff over yeah. and over and over again. I think that is a is a big part of um, our current era's nostalgia. State love. of the union. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's a big big thing with that. For sure. All right. Well, we covered a lot. Yeah, we talked for longer than I thought we were gonna. Yeah, yeah. This is this is good. This is yeah. good. TV's fun. TV's fun, folks. Yeah, TV and, is fun. Uh, it's a nice way to get your mind off things, and that's. I hope that's what we do. Yeah, I hope that's what we do. Get your get your mind off the craziness and the the exactly. negatives in life. We're gonna sign off now, though, and we're yeah. gonna we're gonna stay on and talk to our uh, patrons a little bit after this. So if you uh, want to be a part of that, um, feel free to join the Patreon. Absolutely, yeah. Patreon. Slash Bacon is my podcast. Yes, you did it right. And I had to get it once. Yes, I had to yes. get it once. Uh, so, uh, before we sign off here, Jimmy, where can they find you and your things? Jimmy G's Shoes on all the socials. My band Craving Strange is at cravingstrange.net. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff happening. We're just doing like a summer full of like spot shows that we're going to do and try out new material. So, um, check that out. If you're into it, uh, let us know. Stay in contact, all that kind of good stuff. You can find, uh, more of my band stuff, his band stuff. And Bacon is my podcast on StrangerhoodTV.com. That is the YouTube page that is the home of all this. Yeah. Of all this stuff that we do. If you Plus want to see it 20. in visual form, you see the top 20 with our boy DJ from Rebel 9. We see my five from uh, our boy Chris, my drummer in Craving Strange. Um, plus music stuff. You see videos, uh, something heavy videos, Craving Strange videos, um, drum playthroughs, guitar playthroughs, all that kind of good stuff. Will yeah. it sound good acoustic? Will it sound good heavy? Um, you can find all that stuff there. Yep. Where can they find your stuff, my friend? Me, personally, I'm at me, my own self, Mike. And uh, that's where I have my personal things, my band things, my other things. Things that I'm doing. Just yeah. me. Stuff. Family things. Stuff and things. Yes. Uh, my band, Something Heavy, we've got a new single out called Just to Live Again. It's been out for just about a week now. And uh, it's been People like it. Yeah, it's a little. It's, it's good. It's not. It's not like your uh, chug chug, screaming chug chug wee stuff. Yeah, chug chug, chug wee chug chug wee. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> it's not that. It's it's more of like a punk, yeah, punk anthemic song, and uh, yeah, it's going going over pretty well. And we surprised everybody with the the drop of that last week. So. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. That was, uh, that was a really cool, cool. That was a but cool. But if you're a patron, move. You would have heard it about a month earlier. That's true. So <laughs> that's true. Just saying. Uh, check out Bacon is my podcast stuff at baconismypodcast.com where you can find episodes. You can find links to all the stuff we do. You can find links to our sponsors uh, like Manscaped, like uh, uh, Wild Bills, like uh, Grill Your Ass Off. All those. You can find the sponsors and the best deals and the best promo codes that we can give you right now to save you guys some money. Uh, if you do buy something from there, we just ask that you use uh, our code, and that just lets them know that you heard about the stuff from here, and it helps us out. It really, 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 really does help us yes. out. Yes. Um, so definitely check that out. Uh, we love our patrons over at patreon.com slash bacon is my podcast. Once again, you can check us out over there. And also on the website, you can find bacon is my fashion, where you can find T-shirts like these, yeah. like more bacon, and like love is my bacon. Indeed. All right? So, uh, you know, help us out. Help yeah. us out. If you don't want to help us out with money, that's cool too. No big deal. Um, but like, if you like, subscribe. If you like the show, hit give, like. Give it. Give a review. Yep. If you don't like the show, give us a bad review. Just give us a review. Share. Talk about it. It just helps more people hear us. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you to our patrons for hanging out with us live once again. We love you guys and uh, stay on because we're going to stay on and talk to you guys a bit after this. And um, you know, remember to ask yourself every single day. The most important question. One super important question. Yeah, what is that? What's your bacon? Mm, flashlights. <laughs> Balls and holes. <laughs>
Well, peace. <laughs> time out time. How are those balls looking? You know what you know what season is, right? <laughs> I do. I do indeed. It is uh it is time. It is time for smooth sack summer. And how do I keep everything smooth, everything tidy, everything the way it should be? Well, I don't know how you do, but I'll tell you how I do. Manscaped, buddy. You know it. You've been listening, you've been seeing the show, you've been we've been talking about it. You know. You know how much we love the crop mops. You know. You know how much we love the lawnmower, but they have the performance package 4.0 now. Where they did a little upgrade mm-hmm. to the Weed Whacker. Weed Whacker is, of course, the nose and ha- ear hair trimmer. It is now the 2.0 as opposed to the 1.0. Now, right. That's when one I, better. I used the 1.0, I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. And then they sent the 2.0, and I said, how could, how could it be better? It is. It mm-hmm. just is. I don't know how they do it, but Manscaped keeps upping their game. And uh, I've been besides... digging a lawnmower for a long time. Right. I like the skin safe technology. I still use the guard. I still use the guard. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, no, uh, I have I have not once mm-hmm. uh, nicked a thread on the bean bag. Yes, <laughs> not once. Yep. Now you don't want to lose any beans. No, no. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't want to lose beans, and with uh, with other methods. Oh, yeah. man. You could lose a bean. Yeah. But uh, not with Manscaped. <laughs> exactly. And also, they are getting into the beard game. They've got their brand new beard trimmer, which is fantastic. So go to Manscaped.com. Yeah. Use the promo code BACONPOD, and that will give you 20% off and free shipping. That's right. So don't forget to work on those testicles, your chesticles, and your cheeks. Keep them clean and ask yourself, what's your bacon? Smooth sack summer.